Hey guys, this is part four to my kitchen organization and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the spices I have and what I use in that sort of so. So first things first, actually these aren't spices, but this is my drink cabinet that I just did. Um, and so up here I have hot cocoa cups in the back and then I have some Lipton tea and some green tea. Um, we use a lot of this, so I figure I'll just keep them in these jars. Um, and then I have these tall jars for like spaghetti noodles and lasagna noodles, but they don't fit in my cabinets where I want them. And they only fit in the top of that. So I decided to turn them into drinks mix holders. So I have our Gatorade mix here and we have our lemonade. And if I need, uh, when I get the big jugs of it, if I need more space, I'll just grab two more of these jars and put them in the back with the leftovers of whatever's left. Cause I don't know if a whole thing will fill that up. And then I moved my coffee into this jar because I did have my coffee on the three jars that I had over here, but then I put them down here and made this into a snack breakfast, breakfast cabinet. And so my coffee now lives in that mason jar. <laughs> and then we got our coffee cups. So here's our spices. Let me get a chair. I had to get a chair, I'm a little short. So um, we had a bunch of these chili Diablo um, chilies. Gosh, I wish I knew how to say that. Um, and so I just keep that up here. Um, and these are my extra spices. So this is like that salad supreme, extra Italian. We got some extra uh, pink salt, Himalayan salt. This is red pepper flakes. This is an extra, but I keep it up high because we don't use it too much. Cayenne, which I need to fill that. I have some in the other pantry. Cumin, which I also need to fill. Some of these I really need to fill. <laughs> I got some extra cilantro because we use a lot of that, dried cilantro. And then this is some extra dried garlic. Did I say what that was? Yeah, that's kind. Okay. And then I got bay leaves and this is um, onion powder. And then lemon pepper and chili powder. And the back is some black peppercorns. And on the bottom, this is what I grab immediately. Um, I do have a lot of random spices in here. That's not, all the stuff down here is not usually in here, but I need to use it up. Um, so I've got extra thing of bay leaves in there. And then I have uh, two of these mi pickling mixes that my husband needs to use. Um, and then like this is our favorite beef marinade. I use this for, um, I put a little bit in my uh, ribs rub, but I also like to use this for pork chops, so it's really delicious. I got some pork poultry seasoning, some Old Bay, and then in the back here, this is oregano. Oh, my kids are in the background. And then this is basil. We use a lot of that in our cooking. Not too much basil, but enough to keep it there. And then this is dried onion and dried garlic. I love it gives a really great depth of flavor in recipes. And then these are both coarse peppers. Um, I use so much of it that I just decided to put two here. I don't know if I'll change that. I might. The reason why I have two of the beef seasonings is I had one in my camper. <laughs> um, and then these were all my husband's salt and peppers. That's why we have to use them now because he brought them home. Um, I love this Chipotle chili pepper powder. Um, I wanna try to find a big thing of it so I can put it in these jars. This stuff is so good, guys. You highly recommend that for like tacos, anything. So good. Um, and then we've got some onion powder and garlic powder and then cilantro. And then that is the cumin as well. And then here is some beef bouillon. I always have some ginger up here for when I make like Chinese food, like whatever I'm making. And then some chicken bouillon, and then I need to refill my salt and pepper. They are very, very low. Well, my husband needs to do that, because I will break the jars. <laughs> All right, so that's a little messy, but that's kind of how we keep that. Let's go down here. So this is like, this is like my cute, like on the counter spices. So in these big jars, they're not spices, but I keep sugar, brown sugar, and flour. And then in here, I keep like specialty spices that look cute. It's all about the cute. Um, or stuff that I just wanna grab and go real quick and I don't wanna go in the cabinet for. So this is parsley. Um, I don't use a lot of parsley, that's why that one's there. This is um, chives, 
but I actually think that those chives are super old. I'm going to have to dump those and switch it to something else because I don't actually use chives. I think I got that, the actual chives from a friend and put it in here. It was so long ago, I don't remember. Um, this is extra Italian seasoning. This is cilantro. I just need like a little bit. This is parsley. This is parsley too. Yeah, that's parsley. Um, onion powder, or I mean, dried onion, dried garlic, and then some basil. I took some of these from my camper, so that's why like there's a repeat of parsley. Um, but I really need to fill it with something else. I actually need to put that parsley there and refill that with something else, which I will. Cumin, chili powder, um, seasoning salt, um, cayenne, paprika. I use these a lot. That's why I know what they are. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and lemon pepper. And then down here is some mustard seeds that my husband got, mustard powder, which he got. Um, this is actually cayenne too. So this cayenne we use here, this, this actually came from our camper. I actually took all the bottles out of here with um, airtight lids and put them in the camper and I put these in here. Um, and so I just need to change that. That's some really old cayenne um, that I need to change, so. And then some turmeric. Um, I don't know what I have turmeric for. I bought it for something. Maybe face masks, I'm not sure. Um, and there's some dill seed that was my husband's for pickling and then I have two empty jars. These little onions came out of our garden. Aren't these cute? She has to ask my husband how to clean them and then some toothpicks. So we definitely need to like redo that and like go through the spices. I'm just not there yet because I have been organizing this whole house and decluttering. So eventually I'll get a flow with it. But for now, there's a few repeats and you know, whatever. I need to go through it. Uh, my big thing right now is going through everything we have and then buying fresh. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Um, I need to spend a day just going through jars, getting rid of what I don't need, keeping what I do and making a list of what I want. So now let's go to the baking. This is pretty much it on what I use for spices is I'll show you the baking. I showed you guys this in the other video, but um, I guess I'll show you again. This is the cocoa powder, buttermilk um, powder and yeast and I use these a, I use these two a lot in everything the cocoa powder I don't use too much but I want to start um, cornstarch baking soda and baking powder and that's an extra baking powder um, and then back here I know if you guys saw the other video I'm sorry but for those of you who haven't seen my other video this is good to know I always keep honey molasses there's two honeys because one was from the trailer there's a honeycomb and this is really cool um, peanut butter there's vanilla back here um, because I have two honeys, you can't really see it, but normally you can see my vanilla. I like the Mexican vanilla blend. It's so delicious. And then I always have Crisco. So this is what I didn't show you in the other video that I wanted to kind of get through. So I have a little owl jar full of like drawling frosting. I got this on sale after Christmas and it's good to like 2025. Um, and so I put that in here. I have my popcorn which we need to start using because I think it's getting kind of old. Not too old, but old enough where we need to start using it. Um, and then I have some food dyes in here, food coloring. And we use a lot of that to color eggs for Easter, so I need to revamp that too. Some of the stuff I just have to go through, and I haven't had time, um, nor have I wanted to. So it's part lazy. Um, we got these three honeys from um, camping in Huntington Beach, and so they are amazing. Um, avocado, orange blossom, and wildflower, and they literally taste like that. It's crazy. But you would think wildflower, that's interesting. It's really delicious. Um, back here, I have some clove, which I don't use too, too often just for holiday baking, and nutmeg, or if I'm like making pumpkin something, like pumpkin bread. Um, we've got some ginger, and then cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. And so that's kind of what I keep on hand all the time. Um, except for the few seasonings that I told you were my husband's. So that is pretty much it. So that is basically what I use for spices, um, for cooking. It does switch up, but that's normally what I use. It doesn't change too, too much. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and insert a meal plan. It's getting dark and light, it's crazy. I'm gonna insert a meal plan into this video so you guys have ideas of what you can make for dinner. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bye guys.
So as part of the meal plan for this week, um, I am doing some chili in the crock pot. It's frozen, it's dethawing right now in the crock pot. Um, so we are having chili because I have some Fritos in the cabinet we need to use up. So we'll do like Frito pies. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing ceviche. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna cook with the ceviche. I'll tell you what the other bits of the meal plan. We might pair it with one of those. Um, but for now, definitely I'm gonna be doing some ceviche. Um, I said that three times. There is the um, meat for that. And then I've also got some in here as well. Okay, and then for the rest of my meal plan, I like to um, go ahead and put it in my fridge from the freezer to thaw. Um, yesterday, we had the last lasagna in my freezer, or the other day. And two days ago, we had the last lasagna in my freezer. We had homemade pizza. So those are two options that are super cheap. And then yesterday we had some marinated chicken drumsticks with some chicken rice. And I just did rice with chicken bouillon cubes and some mixed vegetables. So that is also another option. I need to clean this fridge. It's outside. <laughs> um, so in here I have some pork cubes that are cubed up that I got from Sam's Club that I'm thawing to make the pork chili verde. I also have some stew mate, meat that I cut up myself. I'm gonna cut them up a little bit smaller too, so I only need one bag. And I'm gonna make some chili Colorado. Um, I was even thinking making carne gustada. I'm not quite sure which one I wanna make, but um, maybe I'll make carne gustada last time, next time, because I got the stuff for um, chili Colorado. But I have videos on that and cooking with Brittany Coca. If you go into my, um, my information about me you'll find that one um i made some homemade spaghetti sauce and so i'm gonna make some goulash this week probably towards the end of the week because we just had italian um but i want the homemade spaghetti sauce um and i have a second one of these in my freezer um and so we're gonna use that and then i have two baked beans because i'm gonna take some chicken out um here within the next few days and we're gonna have barbecue chicken baked beans and like corn on the cob and so that will be another meal after that, it's going to be a few days of chicken meals and just rotating through my freezer. This is how we're saving money, eating my freezer meals and making the cheapest meals possible. Um, that way we can get the most bang for our buck. I want to save a lot of money to travel and so I want to try to eat smart. Um, that's why we had the whole turkey and the whole ham and then we're going to use those for sandwiches. And I really think that's a good idea if you guys want to do that right now, just to give you a hint on what you could do to save money because lunch meat is outrageously priced right now, especially it's lunch meat. I mean, it's horrible quality. Should be cheaper, but um, so yeah. Um, and then just keep eating those fruits and vegetables. So that is my meal plan. All right, guys, now I'm really going to go. Bye.